Welcome to the best of Swan's Place. Sit back and relive your favorite Swan's Place moments. But I love my little honey. I love my little honey. And she puts up with me even as I get older and older. And I imagine there's going to be that day after we've been married 50 years that, you know, my get up and go may have gone or got up and went. And uh, I thought I'd, I, I would just, I look out at some of you and some of y'all's get up may have gone. And <laughs> so I just want to do this for you, a little poem in the voice of Jimmy Stewart. How do I know my youth is all spent? Well, my get up and go has got up and went. But in spite of it all, I'm able to grin when I think of where my get up has been. <laughs> Let's not dwell there. Uh, uh, old age is golden, so I've heard it said, but sometimes I wonder when I get to bed with my ears in a drawer, my teeth in a cup, my eyes on a table until I wake up. <laughs> Ere sleep dims my eyes, I say to myself, is there anything else I should lay on the shelf? <laughs> but I, I'm, I'm happy to say as I close the door, m my friends are the same, only perhaps more. When I was young, my slippers were rad. I, I could kick my heels right over my head. And, and when I was older, my shoes were blue, but I could still dance with the whole night through. Now I am old and my slippers are black. I walk to the store and puff my way back. <laughs> the reason I know my youth is all spent, my get up and go has got up and went, but I really don't mind when I think with a grin of all the grand places my get up has been. Since I have retired from life's competition, I busy myself with life's repetition. I get up each morning and dust off my wits, pick up the paper and read the old bits. If my name is missing, I know I'm not dead. So I get a good breakfast and go back to bed. <laughs> you grab a ball like this here? Just like this? Yeah, yeah, gotcha, okay. baby. Get it spinning? Put your finger under there. There you go. <laughs> I sort of like to palm it, there you go. know. Put your finger up. Put your finger up, just like this. Hold it right there. Yeah! Yeah! High five. Baby! Uh, Woo! <laughs> Woo, yeah! Okay, there you go, try this. Okay. Roll it right around your okay, arms. Okay, roll it around, baby. We roll it right around. There you go. <laughs> this here? <laughs> <laughs> okay, can you dribble? Make it out, Okay, dribble. right hand. Okay, left hand. Got you, baby. Okay, right hand. Right, baby. Okay, let's do a figure eight. We got you, baby. <laughs> right around the leg. Okay. <laughs> All right, Dennis, come over here and stand by me. We're going to let Liza Jane do something special. We're going to let her make you talk. Okay, so face right out into the audience. And when um, I push on your shoulder, you're going to open your mouth really, really oh, wide. Gosh. You know you can handle that? Okay, here we go. Okay, now give him a voice. Are you having a good day? Si, senor. No. <laughs> you have to give him a voice that matches his body. All right, can you eat dinner? All right. Liza, no, 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 no. Give him a different voice. Are you glad you had your own show? Yeah, well, that's good. Liza, maybe you could let him sing a song with you, and that would be, you know, something really different and unique. Oh, all right. All right. Go ahead. Yeah, darling, you see me. Yeah. Shonda, Shonda, Shonda. 
Shonda, we Thanks. love you. Thanks. And I have a poem for her because I love her so much. In the voice of Mr. Haney, this is just for you, special for you. When angels fashioned you, my love, they took the very fairest things to make you fair. <laughs> took two perfect seashells for your ears and robbed morning sunbeams for your hair. <laughs> From the sky came the stars which are your eyes. The rose was robbed to paint your sweet mouth red. And then the angels smiled, and from a bird, they took the brain and placed it in your lovely head. 